Yo, what is going on you denture wearing dugongs? Before we get into today's video, I just want to give a quick shout out to my new sponsor, BCW Supplies. Whether you need sleeves, binders, deck boxes, card storage, um, go check them out for that, bcwsupplies.com. Use, use code AZULGG for 10% off their total order. Uh, so today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the new and improved Green's Zard. Uh, the new set is out. Cosmic Eclipse is here, and it brings a bunch of new additions to this deck. Um, the biggest one being the Breaks in or Charizard and Breaks in Tag Team GX with the attack Brilliant Flare for 180. You may search your deck for three cards and put them into your hand. Any three cards, up to any three cards. Uh, the GX attack, put, attach five basic energy from your discard pile to the Pokemon in any way you like. And if you have an extra energy, they're burning. The active is now burning. Confused isn't really that big of a deal. Uh, I don't think I have a GX attack with the. I don't think I've used the uh, Charizard and Breakson's GX attack yet. It's not great. This is still the GX attack we want to be using most games. The Double Blaze. We still play one Reshizard because Double Blaze is so good and important in this deck. Uh, we can't really go without it. But our initial attacker is usually going to be the Charizard and Breakson tag team and then we will like transition into the Reshi Zard later on. I do have one low punny and jigglypuff that I've been testing out in here. I have yet to attack with it, but it is still here. Uh still giving him a chance. Um so we're gonna keep him in here for now. Maybe we'll get some value out of him value out of him in these games in this video here today. Maybe not. Another addition is the great catchers. Been running two great catchers over four custom catchers. It's just more efficient uh slot wise in the deck. Two is less than four so we got plus two spots by playing great catchers instead of custom catchers. Also, it's just a one of, whereas custom catchers, you do need the two. But uh, I'm not convinced this is the better way to play it. I think I might still want to put customs back. But for right now, it is great catchers, and they've been working fantastically. Um, moving on, we got the tag whistle. Search our deck for up to any two tag team cards, which means we can get these guys. All these guys, we can play down one. We get the two tag teams we need for the game sometimes. Um, but we can also grab these other additions to the deck these tag team supporters the mallow and lana allows us to switch our pokemon and if we just do discard two cards we can heal 120 um, from the pokemon we move to the bench the cynthia and caitlin uh we put a supporter card from our discard pile into our hand and then we may discard a card and draw three cards so if we want to reuse mallow and lana we want a welder back we want a greens back obvious staples in the deck or one of the new additions we got a fava in here to deal with keldeo gx plus chaotic swell combo we can faba away the chaotic swell put down a power plant ko a keldeo that's our combo to get around that combo people have been playing and then we have one jesse and james to try and lock our opponent out of games reset stamp them low jesse and james away all their cards and they're locked out of the game um, and i have added a lieutenant surges into that i haven't been a huge i wasn't a huge fan of lieutenant surges in this lieutenant surges strategy in this deck until recently because of the charge and breaks in um with the three cards you get off the brilliant brilliant flare it's really easy to set up combos as long as you keep the cards which you do quite a bit of the time um so that not only makes lieutenant surge's strategy better but it also makes tag switch better which is another card i've added not a new card from the new set but another card i've added to the greens zard build um and that's it i don't have much more to say on the deck it's still got the heavy reset step heavy power plant not a whole ton has changed i'm still rocking the no healing a little bit more aggressive style of a control build almost and uh let's do, go ahead get into some games and i'll show you guys how it runs all right looks like we're up against malamar in this one and there's no well no, i'm not so sure there's a mimikyu there's an oracle there's an absol so all Pokemon that could potentially be in Malamar, especially the Absol. Well, there's a Recycle. I got no idea now. I'm lost on this one. There's a Fion. There's a Lily for six. Yeah, all right. I am now. Okay, it is Malamar with the whole squad. All right. And the Pokenap. All right, so our opponent is definitely playing a very uh, spicy build of Malamar, if you want to call it that, I guess. Um, interesting build of Malamar. Um, we'll see how it fares for them in these coming turns. Yeah, not uh, not entirely blown away by what our opponent has going on here, but we'll see how it works for them. See how it works out. Um, our hand is okay. We do need a tag team, ideally here, off this acro bike or greens. Another acro will keep us digging for more. And we want the switch for later. All right, Welder for two to the active. 
and now hope we run into one of our tag teams. We do want the flare starter. No tag team. We did get a another Volcanion, which isn't the worst thing ever. Uh, we can flare starter to that, which is actually still decent. Um, that's actually still decent. I'm definitely gonna look to KO that Oracorio later on. I'm gonna hold on to this fire energy just in case. Um, I'm just only gonna get two here uh, to throw on this Volcanion. Yeah, we're definitely hoping for a greens off this Poke Gear on the next turn. Find ourselves that Tag Whistle and then probably another Welder. And then we'll start hitting through with that high heat blast on whatever our opponent sends up. Um, <clears throat> yeah, but this guy is going to be a little bit annoying for us to deal with because he's going to be able to push up our tag team um, whenever he wants. Um, it is currently clogging his bench, so that's good for us. But definitely going to be annoying to deal with uh, the later this game goes because he's going yeah, to be able to like push up uh, when we have just this one Volcano in play. He's going to be able to use it, push up our tag team, which will be annoying. That'll be pretty annoying, but um, I hope. Hopefully can work through it. Oh, there goes the Fion right there. All right. Well, I'm fine with that. I didn't want to have to deal with that when it came down to uh, uh, me just having one Volcano and an attack team on our bench. So I'm super glad that it ended up this way and not the other way. I'm, I'm fine with that. That works. All right. There's the Caitlyn and Cynthia. But we do really want um, a greens here. So I'm going to go ahead and reinforce away that. That is not a greens, that is a Jesse James. Not quite what we're looking for here. Um, go with the Cynthia and Caitlyn. Gonna go ahead and get rid of the switch, I think. Yeah, get rid of the switch. Get the welder back. One, two, three, none yet. There he is, a little late. But uh, here, nonetheless, nonetheless, that's what's important here. See, there's one in the discard pile. I expect to be two more off this, so we'll have to use that on the next turn. And then High Heat Blast for that first prize card. Yeah, I'm feeling fine about this one because they do have this Oracorio in play. Um, two pretty much free prizes at some point later in the game um, that we're going to be able to take advantage of. Um, so, yeah, I'm feeling fine about the current situation for sure. I mean, I definitely want to keep around the reset stamp Jesse James combo for later as well. Yeah, I'm feeling like we're in a pretty good spot in this one, actually. Um, it'd definitely be tough if they didn't have this Oracorio in play, but they do have the Oracorio in play, which is the relevant part of everything. So we'll see how it goes, but I feel like we can definitely pull this one off. Malamar, pretty tough without any of the healing like we're playing right now. We're playing currently no healing in the current build. So pretty tough generally against Malamar. Um, but... I mean, if they don't, uh, if they do put a GX in play, stuff like this, uh, it's definitely possible for us to make a, uh, a comeback. That is for sure. And there's another Inke. Sure, that's fine. Yeah, and I think we're just going to be using two Charizard and Brakeson, uh, most likely as our GXs in this game. I don't see a reason to ever attack with uh, a, what's it called? See if our opponent makes the mistake of punching their own Garatina. If they do do that, whoa, okay. No attack from our opponent. That is a very big deal. I'm gonna go ahead and poke gear here. Grab that greens. I am gonna greens for. Uh, well, I expect to be attacked next turn, so I don't really need a flint, but I could get a flint. How many fire are left in the deck? There is exactly four, so I do kind of want to clear those out. So we could go flint and maybe tag whistle just to clear out that we go flint and faba and make it so that uh spell tech never happens or we could get rid of that escape board on the jirachi which would also be good um but i wouldn't be able to play the faba for a couple turns actually um so maybe i don't want the the faba here attach attach um no the faba i could play down next turn I might just want to draw cards instead. No, I wouldn't really need a ton of cards. I'm kind of torn on what to grab here. Let's go Flint and Faba and see how it works out. I'm down to C. Um, attach to the... Charger and Brixen Boy. And then just High Heat Blast. 4, 1, 10. Yeah, I'm down to try. I would definitely want to use a flint and thin out those fire out of the deck so that increases our chances of drawing into like everything else we could possibly want on our following turn. Uh, there's another Malamar for our opponent. It's very possible this Tina just gets stuck in the active. 
Um, all right, there's the switch out. So they should be, if I had to guess, attacking us this turn with the Giratina for the knockout. Um, they're definitely not going to put the 40 damage on their own Giratina. Um, unless muscle memory just kicks in and then they just click the Tina instantly without even really thinking about it. It's the only way I could see that happening. But I think we definitely want to Baba away the escape ward off the Jirachi. Take away that as potential utility from our opponent. Um, and then we can actually knock this Oracori out later in the game. Or even maybe sooner than later. Um, or we can knock it out when we're able to go stamp Jesse James to two. Um, and then knock out the Oracorio, remove their any any pivot potential from play, and then um, they're also all down to switch, so um, might just be able to make it so they can't actually do anything as far as getting to an attacker eventually. That's going to be the game plan here, I think. Let's see what they're about to grab with this communication. Um, if I was them, I would grab the Fion. Um, there he is. They do get this. They do have the psychic in the discard pile as well. Yeah, this Fion is going to be super annoying. Not gonna lie, gonna be uh, no fun at all. Oh, they're using him immediately, though. Uh, not sure why they did that. If I was them, I would have saved it until we could have, until they could have chased down the uh, Charizard and Brakeson. Um, but uh, I'm not gonna complain. This is fine with me. Here they go, Tina, back up, and we're gonna go ahead and knock out this Tina with the baby Volcanion uh, after we fiery flint. Um, and then I am gonna... Oh, I I guess I don't have to Welder this turn. I was thinking I wanted to Welder this turn. But I don't have to Welder this turn. Could go for the Faba play like I was talking about. Remove it off the Jirachi. And then I don't really have anything I want to get rid of with the Flint. Besides the Power Plant. So we can just hold on to that. Um, so we could go Crystal Attach at least, actually. Yeah. So we're gonna go Fire Crystal for the three. Attach for turn. Try and use the Flint on the next turn to thin out the deck. Gonna Faba away that skateboard like I talked about, so I can potentially remove all pivot options at some point in the game. Getting rid of the one off the Jirachi, pr pretty big deal though. Them not being able to use the Jirachi anymore. They almost never play more than two escape board. If they do, they got me. Um, but yeah, decks almost never play more than two escape board. So that should be just gone forever for now. Um, should never be coming back. Ideally. Um, I guess our opponent could pull some shenanigans and, uh, and bring it back, but should be gone for good. Shouldn't have to worry about it. We'll make sure here in just a little bit. But yeah, should be gone. Don't have to worry about it. We'll see for sure in just a second here. Um, my ideal top deck here is actually a tag whistle, I think. If I can get a tag call, uh, get some more tag boys in play, that would be great. Because then I could actually welder this turn instead of greens. And then I can go like surge greens on the following turn when this thing gets knocked out potentially. So that's ideally what I want to do. But uh, currently don't have that setup going. But that's what I would want to be able to pull off on this turn. We'll see. There's the Tina coming back. Uh, if they don't have another spell tag, that would be great. But they're only down one spell tag, so yeah. Them having another spell tag here isn't really that ridiculous. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, like I said, I would want... Because I want to ideally use two breaks in, in Charizard. But I could go to set up the... I could go for greens this turn. Oh, there's a judge. All right, so we're going to need a turn to recover here. Uh, we might get the tag call, though, if we're lucky. Oh, we got greens. We got the fiery flint, which is also pretty good. So not really complaining. Uh, this is our last reset stamp, which I definitely want to hold on to. I don't want to lose this reset stamp. Um, there is their baby blown. They're going to try and utilize on the following turn. Um, this guy is potentially in trouble if our opponent does play Mimikyu, but the fact that they got went and grabbed that right there makes me think they don't play Mimikyu. Um, so we might not have to worry about that. Um, we'll see here, though. Yeah, we might not have to worry about it. We might have to worry about it. Not sure yet. Um, depends what our opponent actually plays. And here come the psychic recharges. Like I said, I do want to kind of try and hold on to this reset stamp, but I have to. If I have to let it go, that's fine. Because I also want to try and keep Mallow and Lana to heal 120 damage. That's like a lot of damage to potentially heal. Um, so we'll see what the top deck is. Um, I guess I could greens for a fire crystal instead of using the flint, but using flint is pretty good. We also get to use the brilliant, uh, brilliant flare to get three cards as well. So we'll see what we top deck. And then I'll kind of decide from there. It's a great catcher, which we do need later on as well. So we kind of just can't give up anything in this hand. Um, so I'm going to greens for a crystal and a tag call here. Yeah. Fire crystal and a tag call. So yeah, I want to kind of keep everything here. I'm going to play the tag call. 
than to get ourselves oh unfortunately what's it called is prized that's unfortunate i thought we would have had um, reshizard is prized we definitely want reshizard in this situation um but looks like we're gonna have to go without which is not ideal that's for sure this is definitely not an ideal situation all right fire crystal only for two which is also not ideal and then we're gonna go ahead and bench the boy and then i'm actually gonna bench this as well because we might utilize him um as to stall for a turn and then brilliant flare Depends if this one dies. Depends if this breaks and dies or not. Yes, we do want to search our deck. We need a uh, welder. Um, if they do knock us out, we could go with the big surge combo here. Surge, welder, Jesse James. Could go for everything. I don't see a reason not to really. It seems pretty reasonable. Could reset stamp them. We wouldn't be able to do the combo until the turn after, actually. So let's go ahead instead of... No, maybe I do want to take it like this. Completely limit our opponent's options. Um, But I could grab Tag Switch instead. Oh, this is tough. Um, I guess I could grab Tag Switch instead of the Surge, just in case they don't knock us out. I don't know. Let's go with the let's go with the surge. I'm committed. That's fine. <clears throat> All right. Let's see what our opponent's got here. We got the knockout here, but they can potentially knock out our active. Like I said, if they do have Mimikyu, but it looks like two and two on the bench. So I don't think this guy's getting knocked out here, which is great for us. That's super ideal. Is that this uh, Charizard and Breakson doesn't get knocked out? That is our ideal scenario um, here in this situation. I don't think they're gonna be able to set up too aggressively on us this turn um so we should be able to go down to two prizes and then just bring up this oracorio and knock it out for our following uh prize card here there's the idea yeah. doesn't look like they have the mimic if they had the mimic oh another reset stamp or no that was judge into reset stamp all right so that's going to be a little bit annoying to deal with there's surgeon greens okay that's okay to deal with the current situation a little bit annoying to deal with but we'll have another brilliant flare to get more cards. There's a shrine that we definitely want to bump as well. All right, so opponents being a little bit annoying, but I think we're gonna be fine still. I don't even know if I have to power plant this uh, shrine this turn. I think I can maybe just leave it in play. Um, yeah, I think I could just actually leave the shrine in play here. Um, there's our opponent's Dance of Tribute once again. Yeah, they're only gonna be able to put uh, 12 damage, they'll be able to put 16 damage counters in play total, I guess um after the uh spell tag triggers which i will be taking out this turn i think i don't think i'm gonna leave that spell tag in play i mean i could chase this guy now but then if they put up an sb on deoxys i can't get around an sb on deoxys so we pretty much have to uh go for the knockout on the active this turn yeah we pretty much have to go for the knockout on the active this turn uh which is fine i'm fine with that it's just gonna be what 120 to the active we go up a little bit more okay all right, I don't think I need, I mean, Stamp could potentially be good later in the game, but I think we're gonna have to go greens for Flint finally. And we get any three cards off of that. So we could just go second power plant um, to replace the shrine, keep the shrine out of the, out of play. That seems fine to me. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take these two. Flint and power plant, bump this. And then we can actually keep the reset stamp um, oh, oh, I guess I could, could have gotten rid of something else actually there. Uh, we do lose the power of the surge, um, but I think that will be fine overall. Go ahead and get four fire out of the deck, and I'm going to go ahead and attach one to this guy. Um, I could reset stamp now, but they're only at seven in hand, so it doesn't really seem that worth to reset stamp them right now. I think we're just going to go for that brilliant flare for the knockout here. We're going to go ahead and get ourselves great catcher, uh, welder. And I guess another power plant to replace their stadium potentially. That's all I can kind of come up with right now. Seems fine to me. Should be enough to win the game unless they have another reset stamp, which I could have potentially taken away from them if I had reset stamped myself. Um, but they could have still, like resetting stamping them to four doesn't really guarantee anything. So I kind of want to save this for the turn after actually, after this, where I can then reset stamp them again. 
um or if they do like if they get reset sam okay third escape board like i was talking about so they probably would have they had a pretty good chance to be able to see their whole deck anyways like reset saving them to four pretty reasonable that they'll be able to see their whole deck so if they do have another reset stamp or another judge because they do play judge then we're gonna probably have to deal with that anyways so i'd rather just save my stamp for the turn after um to have the option of it it's not guaranteed i get to use it or anything there is the fion once again i wonder if he's actually even going to use it here if they do we can just send up this breaks in um so not worried about that no but there is the Yaratina. definitely mismanagement of the fion from our opponent this turn Giovanni's Exile. They can't get rid of this guy, though. They can get rid of both the Tinas, sure. And then they can use them again, I guess, if they want to. Kind of cute combo they got going on there. Um, but nothing too ridiculous. Not worried about it at all. Not going to be a big deal. Currently still have game. That was a supporter for the turn, so we definitely don't have to worry about Judge anymore. They could still have a reset stamp waiting for us. But i um, feeling pretty good about this one now. I don't think uh, we're in very much trouble at all anymore. They're probably going to come up, knock us out, and then we're going to go Weller, Attach, Great Catcher, knock out that Oracorio GX, and that'll be game. And we'll have that one uh, first dub here in this uh, first game with the Greens Charizard. Uh, with the new inclusion of, or the big inclusion of the Breaks in. Once again, not used the Low Punny yet. Potentially was going to tank for a turn this game didn't end up happening um and uh yeah it's all breaks in all the time it seems like the low punny never really gets to uh have an appearance really which i'm it's not that big of a deal um i don't think the car not yet anyways maybe it's matchups it's got its better matchups you know in other places and a touch and then great catcher get rid of whatever bring up the oracorio and then Brilliant Flare for the knockout, and we get a double from Alomar. Usually pretty hard, but when they put a GX in play, it's really not that bad overall. All right. Getting into another one here. We're up against a Ragan a Rangaroo, and then they just used Steven's Resolve. I have no idea what to expect. I don't know if you guys have any idea, if you guys would have any idea what to expect here. We'll see what's going on. Um... This is a Pidgey Control. This video will not be seen the day of light, and I will be leaving, and we'll be going on to the next game. You guys will never see this video. However, if it is not Pidgey Control, um, hopefully we can make an interesting game out of this. We'll see. There's our breaks in boy, right on time. Um, take that welder. Let's go ahead and get some energy in play. Mm -mm. And then flare starter, two, three, one, two, three. Um, I guess they could be playing some kind of Bronzong deck, but we do have the low punny uh, losing the Mallow and Lana. Not ideal uh, to help deal with that, but we'll see here. Nope, Sil Valley. I got. I'm lost. I'm lost on this one. Some kind of control lock deck, though. I'm I'm interested to see what it is. So we're gonna stick around in this one for sure. Um, tag call. Gonna go ahead and grab myself a Cynthia and Caitlyn, and a Reshizard. I think. I'm gonna go ahead and Cynthia and Caitlyn. Second effect. Gonna discard the fire energy. We'll have three fire in the discard pile after this. Gonna take the Mallow and Lana. Definitely seems like the safer pick here. Um, and then we're going to retreat and we're going to brilliant flare for the knockout. Um, I'm going to grab myself, uh, a greens so that can get us stuff on the next turn. Um, a switch seems pretty good to have and tag switch. No, well, we can get all those off greens if we want to. Uh, I mean, I guess a welder then. A green's a welder, and maybe just a switch. Green's a welder on the Faba. Let's go with that. Just get the supporters. Guarantee the supporters in hand. Um, yeah, I have no idea where this game's gonna go. I've got no idea what our opponent's playing. They've got this guy. He does something. This guy, I assume, is gonna evolve into the Magnezone for our opponent. Our opponent, and then they also play the Silvalli, um, which means we want to set up this guy to be to start using Flare Strike. 
and getting through uh, to start potentially one-shotting these. So we want to set up the Flare Strike in this game for sure. It's going to be our game plan. There's Lieutenant Surge's strategy. What's going to happen? Cynthia. Okay. Still no idea. They definitely play the Magneton. That allows them to search your deck for three supporters. Um, but what else does that lead to? I have no idea. There's a reset stamp. Uh, but we are just going to be able to get everything back with a Brilliant Flare again. So the, one of the super cool benefits of playing this card. Um, if they don't knock it out, you don't really care. We still have our Faba. Once again, not worried about that. Um, man, I'm still confused. I, w I just want to know what the combo is. What, what is the, What are they trying to accomplish here? What does this guy do? As long as you, you may look at the top card of your opponent's deck. So yeah, definitely some kind of lock deck, like I was saying. Um... You may look at the top card of your opponent's deck. Just look at it. Uh, and then are they using the Swirling Flow? Are they discarding our energy? What's the game plan here? What's the what's the meme? I'm curious. Another Cherish Bolt. There is a Dead A Change. And there's that Disc Reload for one. Mm, interesting to use it before the Dead A Change. I think I would have Dead A Changed first if I was my opponent. Um, I don't know exactly what the deck does though, so I guess I don't know for sure if I would have done that. I think they still have access to one supporter here through the surge. We'll see here in just a second. But then you see two more supporters come down with the impersonate as well. They do have their chaotic swell in play. Um, not going to be that big of a deal. I guess it's there to prevent you prevent us from using what's it called? I don't mind bumping one chaotic swell with a power plant here. Uh, we are going to tag whistle. Like I, did, like I said, I do want to set this guy up. We'll go ahead and grab the low punny to have some options. Bench him. Catch. I'm not even going to play the greens. I'm just going to brilliant flare here. That'll get us everything we need, I think. I don't even need to play the greens. Ideally, I think it's best to have more greens in the deck if possible. So, uh, that's not going to do anything. So, we want like Faba, Welder. Mallow and Lana, I guess, is the supporter version of the Switch. Yeah, seems fine to me. Get a prize card. We have quite a few fire prizes, right? Like three, seven, eight, nine. We have three fire prizes. Another stadium. Can't hurt to have, especially if they have more chaotic swells on the way. Yep. So, I mean, this is how you tackle these matchups. You kind of, I mean, when you hit an unknown like this deck, like our opponent's playing, Usually want to be aggressive, um, because if they are playing some kind of clunky strategy, um, you want to force out as much of it as possible, as soon as possible, um, and kind of make it awkward for your opponent to potentially maybe do anything. Uh, here is the call signal. So we're going to get another prize card. They're going to be able to stamp us to three if they want, but then once again, we have the Brilliant Flare. Um, so I have to imagine they have some kind of combo with, like, Articuno or something. They only grabbed Cynthia there, so that means they either have the rest of the combo in hand, or it is in the discard pile. There's the stamp to three. But we're getting closer and closer to being able to just win the game. Um, our goal, like I said, is to KO this Sylvali uh, as soon as we possibly can. Uh, we can do that through the Flare Strike. There's a the dead a change finally from our opponent. Yeah, you want to be like as aggressive as possible. Force out your opponent's strategy, because usually when it's an unknown and it doesn't, and it's a kind of an unknown deck and you have no idea what's going on, usually the deck isn't super, usually these decks just aren't super consistent. And that's it. These decks just usually aren't super consistent. So if you force them to play really aggressively um, to like match your aggression, um, there's a good chance they just kind of lose um, based to you just being too aggressive. Um, but you also want to see what's going on as soon and as fast as possible. That way you can adapt your strategy to kind of deal with what they're go what they have going on. We're definitely playing up against some kind of handlock deck. Um, but I don't think our opponent is in a position to actually execute it before we would potentially win the game. Um, here we go. Fire Crystal. The Dene is now our target um, to take to knock out here. We're gonna go ahead and brilliant flare for the knockout. We're gonna go search our deck and we're gonna grab this switch and welder. Uh, we can knock it out with our active, we can knock it out with the bench Reshizard. Got a bunch of options to go ahead and chase this to Dene down. Um, we'll see <laughs> what is necessary here. They still haven't completely locked us out of the game. Like I said, if they don't shut off Brilliant Flare, like, you know, by custom catching this guy up, 
or there's another reset stamp to two, but they're gonna need something like Articuno to take away all this energy or something, or we're just gonna be just fine again. We'll just go ahead and really unflare, and uh, that's it. There's another Chinchou. They can make us reveal our hand um, if they want. I wonder if they have a way to discard the top card of our deck, or is this the extent? Is this their deck? And it's not quite efficient enough. Uh, they do have that scout, like I said, they can make us, they can look at our hand. There is the Lucario Metal, Mel Metal. That's what they use to take away our energy. They don't have the Articuno, they have the Lucario Mel Metal. Okay. So our goal is to definitely win this turn right now. We're gonna go KO Dedene, or we could actually kill this Lucario Mel Metal if we want. But that's their that's their their goal. They're trying to put you to like a very low hand or a zero card hand. Maybe they play Mars as well. Then they use Lucario Mel Metal's full metal wall, take away the energy off your active and try and lock you out of the game from there that's there that's it that's the meme um found welder and heat factory i think i would rather have welder in the deck so we're just going to start with heat factory one two three not quite what we wanted here um but i don't think i'm going to knock this out because they don't have bench space for a rangaroo right now um if they play Exile, I'm going to force them to find it. So I think we're just going to go with Pass here. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to go with Pass. I do not want them to be able to uh, get this into the active, first of all. And to put another Orangaroo in play. Because if they put Orangaroo in play, then uh, they can resource management again. Um, and sure, they might play Giovanni's Exile. And clear up their bench to get a Rangaroo in play. But I'm going to force them to have it. I'm going to be like, alright, you have to find your Giovannis. I'm going to give myself time to just draw into the KO on the Dedene or the Lucario Mel Metal. They probably play Tate and Liza. So they'll probably be able to like Tate and Liza to the bench. Okay, and here's the Jesse and James. We want to keep Welder and Switch. So we're going to get rid of those two. Uh-oh. Here's where... Oh, okay. We're definitely keeping the Switch. We ditched the Welder here. There goes uh, the Weezing to get one more card out of our hand. There's an attached to the active. So they'll be able to retreat and use the full metal wall. GX next turn. There's Mars. Our hand is completely gone. They have done it. They've gotten rid of our hand. And now they can constantly peek our top deck. Um, and I guess the point of their deck is to like be able to peek the top deck and then um, take whatever they need from the discard pile with a Rangaroo to be able to combat whatever my top deck is, I guess. Um, kind of cool, kind of cute strategy, I guess. Um, not really scared of it. We can go just with the Crimson Flare Pillar GX next turn if we wanted to, uh, and get a bunch of fire energy back in play. And I think that is what I will go with here. So there's their energy discarding, there it goes. Uh, if I top deck a fire, that is. There's the Great Catcher, a little late, one card short there. Once again, though, they can't Orangaroo currently. They're currently in a position where they're going to have to draw all their prizes through Steel Fist with only an 8-card deck left. And I don't think they have enough time to Steel Fist us enough times. Unless they have the Giovanni's Exile. But then they also have to move their active Lucario Mel Metal. So I'm feeling pretty good about this. Don't know everything that's going on, but I have a pretty good idea of what our opponent's game plan is here. Oh, there's the... Uh, Bella... Beleba... Whatever this card. I don't know the name of this card. So they can check the top deck... And they'll be like, okay, you can have it or discard it. Interesting. Interesting. Um, so we just got to get rid of one of these guys. We lost. Ooh, what did we lose there? Crystal, Volcanion. Oh, we got Greens, Pokegear, Crystal. That's not ideal there. And then, okay, and then this clears up their bench. Okay, so they are going to be able to get a Rangaroo back into play. Uh-oh, they maybe have us locked up here. We're going to need a top deck ASAP if we're going to want a chance to get back into this one, actually. All right, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. Um, our opponent's got a pretty cool deck here. Steel Fist for 50. Let's see what the top deck is. It all comes down to this. Acrobike. Ooh, there's greens. I think that means we do have it. We should be able to get second switch plus fire crystal here. There it is. Okay, so cool deck from our opponent. Not quite enough to do it in the end, but super cool deck from our opponent. And we are going to take that dub over here over our opponent's control deck not sure what quite what was going on there but pretty cool pretty cool deck i'm not gonna lie their deck was pretty cool not quite enough to beat us but uh you know best of luck to them in their future games with that deck because it was definitely a cool deck all right guys that's gonna do it for this video with the updated green zard with the 
big big breaks in coming in to give the deck a huge boost from the new set i definitely recommend playing this deck definitely my favorite deck that i've played with out of decks so far so definitely recommend this one for sure i mean if i'm playing a deck on this channel i'm usually going to recommend you guys play it but this one definitely my favorite so far my favorite deck that i played with so i wanted to get a video out to you guys on it let you guys see what this new breaks in charizard gx tag team has to offer in this build and uh, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a like. If you're enjoying the content, be sure to subscribe. Have a good day. Thanks for watching and peace.